Hi everyone! So, um, I want to share with you my project that I created. This is using um, Graphic 45, the beautiful shabby paper from Graphic 45, the Botanical Team. It's very shabby. I love the pastel colors of this paper. So I did use a sheet and from here and I used this one. If you see very closely, I used that sheet right there. Um, it has pinks and you know some greens. I wanted to stay away from the baby blues and the ivory, so I decided to do a green a green one. And I also used the polka dots, but in green. Um, and this is the six by six patterns and solids. And also I used the sticker sheet from the collection, and I use these little uh, round sheets, uh, round stickers instead. So all right, let me begin. Let me go ahead and put this to the side. And because I wanted to keep it with the tea theme, and the paper is called Botanical Tea, so I thought it was perfect for this project. And I just love it. I love how it came out. So here's my project. And this is a wooden plaque that I purchased at Michael's, and I actually got this a couple of years ago when it was uh, on clearance. So. Um, and what I did is I covered it with the paper, you see it right here, and then I used a 6x6 paper for the, for the top and for the little spout and the handle. Um, and then what I did is uh, I covered it front and back, and then on the sides I used this uh, Hobby Lobby trim in mint green, and I just went all the way around the teapot. Uh, then before I embellished it, I did some uh, stenciling with um, modeling paste. So here you see some stenciling right there, and you see some stenciling right here. And the stencil that I used, if you don't know, because there's so many different um, bubble sten stencils, but this, this one I actually used from Tim Holtz. And it's called, I'm not sure what it's called, it doesn't say, but it looks like this. So I use this one right here. So that's what I used, and I just did it um, by the spout, and uh, right here by the, I mean by the spout and by the handle. <laughs> Got it mixed up. Then I uh, went ahead and around um, the top, all around the teapot, I added some 4mm flatback pearls. On top, on the little knob, I added one of these ring tops and I just popped off the ring and used it here in its beautiful color, mint green with rhinestones. Then I added this trim right here and it actually looks like this, the trim. And I just cut it and I just put some here and I put some here on the bottom and I spritzed it using my um, key lime from Tattered Angels um, Glimmer Mist and that's what I used to get this nice green color. Um, here this is a, a frame from Michaels and what I did I just I printed this beautiful vintage little girl drinking tea or preparing tea image uh, from Google. I just googled um, vintage tea images and she came up very pretty. So I printed her out. I added some 6 meter uh pink flatback pearls and then here I just put tea and I used a little Fiskars banner punch. It's kind of scalloped. Then I used my half inch um, circle punch and then I added the little letter stickers on top and they're both uh, they're actually popped up using pop dots so and then I added a little bow from Joann's and a little nail art piece on both sides really cute and here is a flower that I picked up from Hobby Lobby this was actually gifted to me by Anna uh, a Fala 72 and um, uh, it came, comes with a little piece of bling in the center, really cute. And here are some adorable little 
gardenias flowers so I added three of them on the top corner then here's some bling coming out from the frame looks it I made it appear as if it was there was steam coming out so I added it right there really pretty love it I love this cluster of flowers that I added here um, this is a spray that I received from Michelle Randolph um, she's Michelle Randolph here on YouTube as well. Hi Michelle, thank you. And I used that there. Here's an applique that I re that was one piece and I cut it apart. So I added the flower here and the leaves right here. And I got that from Hilda Lowe here on YouTube. Hi Hilda, thank you. And here is an altered button that I made and I actually put the little uh, word bead that says time. So it says T time. I love it. So here's my altered button, here's another a little gardenia flower, another Hobby Lobby flower. I did a little spray here using the little poly roses in mint green with a white leaf. This is a burlap flower that I picked up at Michael's and they look like this. It's like from um, Recollections. And then um, here is... Um, Pearl spray from Hobby Lobby, rounds, and then another little pearl spray with uh, little crystals from Michaels. So this is my project. I hope you all liked what I have created. Um, I just love it. I love how this looks, and it's just it's just beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so okay, everyone, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.